Alright everybody, new week, new Odyssey, and apparently 4th of July event is going on. So, happy 4th of July to those who celebrate. I'm not from America, so I do not know of these traditions, but it, it looks like a good time, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's jump into this week's Odyssey. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Just look at those maps. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? Can we all just, can we all just take a moment to reflect upon last week and then really, really appreciate this week? Just already, just looking at these maps, just... <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice change. Anyway, what have we got? Logs, everything's a bit faster. Cubism, everything's a bit faster. Resort, everything is a bit faster. Frozen over, everything is a bit faster. And Scrapyard, everything is just a little bit faster. Anyway, <clears throat> Bloom Speed and Mob Speed's 150%. Uh, all of these are very easy and very long maps. Hard Standard on Logs 1 to 55, chill. Cubism hard standard 3 to 65, also chill. Resort 6 to 70, hard standard, also incredibly chill. Frozen over hard standard 20 to 80 with 7,500 to start, very nice. And scrapyard hard impalpable 40 to 90, 1,500 to start, very, very nice. Let's have a look at the crew. What do we got? Oh, oh, this, ah, oh. you know what? I'm bringing my boy. Sorta, instant win in this Odyssey. Guarantee it. Gwendolyn, considering the power that Gwen had in the last Odyssey, which, I'm sorry, but I personally just love Oban more. Uh, Gwen's probably also an instant win. In fact, all of these guys are probably instant wins, but I, I want to bring along Quincy. I also want to bring along a Sniper, a Dart Monkey, and oh my god, look at all these non-restricted towers. <sighs> It's it's nice to be uh, to be back on the the, the more noob friendly side because goddamn I feel like a noob since last week. <laughs> oh, I definitely feel like a noob since last week, and I'm never leaving you guys behind ever again. Tax shooters. Um, I did actually learn a good bit about dartling gunners too. Uh, th those were mostly in the failed attempts, but nevertheless, I learnt enough to want to bring them along this time. Uh, oh, look at that. Perfectly filled. Alright, let's do this. Ah, <sighs> this week's gonna be... It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Who do we want to start? Obviously, Quincy. He never misses. Never misses. That's, that's a fact. It's not just... It's not just something he would say. He just never misses. So, of course we're gonna place Quincy first. I mean, what else would we do? There's there's no reason to play anything else at this point. We could just let Quincy solo. In fact, I'm sort of... I sort of feel like that might be possible. Obviously, if we had monkey knowledge, it would definitely be possible. Otherwise, I don't think Quincy gets uh, lead popping power in time, but it uh, could work out, could work out. And I think this may be a bit crazy for me, but I think I'm gonna go Dartling Gunner next. Just do that. And you know what? I don't I don't even wanna move it. That works, that works for me. Um, but yeah, so, the many hours that I spent failing at the last week's Odyssey have taught me some things and have reminded me of others. One thing that it reminded me of is the fact that this guy here, first of all, you might not believe it. Personally, I didn't believe it. Um, but it turns out this guy has three upgrade parts. Right? Crazy. I always just assumed this guy had five upgrades total, which was four at the top, one in the middle. 
weird, right? But apparently, there's like 15 upgrades overall, and you can pick and choose which ones you want. That is so weird to me. That is so... Veteran level 10. I only just figured this out. Dartling gun is like every other tower. I've been questioning it my whole life. Like, you get this laser beam at the top, and then that's that's just it. That's just all the tower is. But no, apparently there's more to it. Weird. Um, so anyway, I learned about that. And uh, it turns out there is another path that I am very much a big fan of that I didn't realize, but I should have known, to be honest, because it kind of takes a lot of the effort out of actually using the Dartling Gunner. Not that locking him in place isn't immediately taking all the effort out, but if you go to the bottom path, you get a nice little thing that gives you independent targeting, which is... Another way of saying, if you're a lazy ass, this upgrade's for you. Which is just such a beautiful thing. Right, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna alt buff this guy. Don't know why I set him to strong. Um, but we are gonna we are gonna alt buff him. Quincy, you never miss. You never miss. I was the one that missed. Quincy never misses, everyone. I missed. And I apologize for my hubris. Uh, but we should be good now. That was entirely my fault. Never Quincy's. Never. Um, so we're going to do that. Give him camera detection. Good, good. And then eventually, we can afford this lovely little thing called Buckshot. Which isn't amazing, but the one after that is what we're looking for anyway, so we don't really care. Do I want to buy anything else in the meantime? I probably should. Honestly, like, this strategy was really good. When I started the game off with, like, 40 grand. Yeah, that, that, was, that was quite nice. Um, now, however, I realize that this strategy does require money. And we don't really have a lot of it starting at round one. It's weird. It's so weird. I've done all the tests and starting at round one for some reason just just doesn't doesn't start you off with like 20 grand. It's so strange to me. Anyway, we should be fine. Quincy, thank you. I know you never miss. As we all know. Uh, I guess we but try buckshot. Maybe not yet, but soon we try Buckshot. Thank you, Alki. Just gonna just gonna aim down here real quick. No particular reason. There we go. Get Buckshot. Somewhere there, I think, is a bit better. Okay, well, yeah, once again, that was my poor timing. Quincy never misses. So, uh, please, uh, please ignore that. Buckshot, put you roughly there. That's actually a really nice range. It's not as crap as I thought it would be, honestly. See, when has Quincy ever missed? And have it been his fault. Because let's be honest, if Quincy ever misses, it's probably the person that placed him. Probably the person that placed him. <clears throat> also, I think we can all agree that this idea will not be travelling into future maps. Uh, for reasons I will not explain. But thanks to the power of Quincy, everything's going well. Incredibly well. Oh, that looked like a snipe. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna just take the L here. I'm just gonna take the L. I thought that maybe I could make that work and maybe it would be a good idea, but clearly it's not. So, let's go back to what we know is an amazing idea. And what we know does work extraordinarily well, 
when you've got less money than 20 or 40,000. And oh my god, wow, look, nothing got through. Probably Quincy's fault. It's, it's all, Quincy's the one to blame for us working so hard and, and doing so well. Yeah, sorry, balloons. Sorry, you can all blame Quincy. Anyway. I don't know why I've been going on this, this sort of tangent, but... I went to work today. Work was alright. It actually went by pretty quickly, because a miracle happened at work today. Um... And that miracle is... Okay, let me, let me lay down some context for you all. There are... Four... Five... Five jobs... That can be done at work. At my work, right? There is picking, loading, boxes, dispatch, and running. Right? I am a loader. Not specifically assigned to be a loader. I just end up typically doing loading. And that's just, that's just sort of my thing. Right? Um, but before I was a loader, I was very regularly on being a box maker, also known as boxes, uh, because I was, I was quite good at that as well, right? And if you ask me right now, I'd say my preferred task between the two is making boxes. Box making is repetitive, it's monotonous, and it's simple, but... You get to work on your own, nobody fucking bothers you. And it's so good. It is so good. Anyway, um, like I said, a miracle happened at work today. Because ever since my mate left work, who was sort of my boss, but not my boss's boss. Not, not the boss of his boss. No, anyway, he was my boss. And so... Every so often, he'd be like, "Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna do box making today?" And I'd be like, "Hell yeah, I do. I love doing boxes." And so he'd put me on box making. But 90% of the time, I would be on loading because that is the more technical, complex. Complex is being very generous, uh, but it's it's the more think heavy job, right? And I manage to do it well, so I typically get given that job because there's not many other people that can do it as well. So ever since my mate left, I have not been on box making at all. But, like I said, a miracle happened today. And halfway through the morning, not even like the day, just like halfway through the morning, like 10, 10.30ish, which was insane considering we were going at a good pace anyway, uh, I was asked if I wanted to do boxes, you know, if I wanted to make boxes. And naturally I said, is this a dream? Is this a joke? Are you guys pranking me or something? And as it turns out, they weren't. Uh, the current box maker wanted a break from boxes and was a semi-competent loader and I happened to be a competent loader that needed a break from loading. I wasn't complaining, but it, it was nice to get a bit of a break, which was just lovely. And then I jumped on boxes and all of a sudden, a Thursday, which we typically would finish around three, four o'clock, we finished at around 1.40. Uh, I swear, it's like, so annoying, because in terms of all the jobs at work, I think I am, in comparison to my skills on other jobs at work, I am best utilized on boxes. However, because boxes is a simple job that's easier to teach than loading, I can understand why they keep putting me on loading instead. But personally, I feel like I'm a better box maker than a loader. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But, 
regardless, I, uh, I had a really, really good day at work today, and because I was absolutely crushing these boxes, we smashed it out, all got to go home early, and they had... The other teammates in the other department didn't even have anything ready for the next day. Which usually, if they do have something ready, then we have to be like, oh, okay, well, well, we'll put that up on the line. We will load it, as, uh, as, the, as the job implies. So, you know, it's like, oh yeah, we'll get that ready for tomorrow. We'll, we'll throw it up, we'll load it up. Uh, but no, they didn't have a single thing ready, which means it's going to be done tomorrow morning instead. And guess who's got tomorrow off, as well as Saturday, as well as Monday? That's right, it's me. It's me. So I'm not worrying about that, and I'm leaving that up to everybody else. Which is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Just like this Odyssey. I feel really bad being like, oh my god, thank fuck this Odyssey's nice and easy. Because I don't want to bear any sort of ill will towards Overclock or his insanely hard Odyssey. Uh, it's just, it's just a nice change of pace. Anyway. decided to choose a sniper for some reason this time around, and I think it's a good choice. I love sniper, I love bouncing bullets, you saw me get it last game. Mainly for the money, I'm not gonna lie. But, I didn't really need the money in the end, because the last thing I was buying was the, the elite defender, elite def defender, sniper, elite sniper. And I didn't even really need that, to be honest. I already had a good enough setup. Just for a bit of fun. Quincy. Now, Quincy. We... We might need to have a conversation about that. We might need to have a bit of a conversation about that. Unless... We just ignore the conversation because it's not needed. And we just put down a little spectre at the back. Okay, we'll also put you on strong for now. And I'll keep you on strong just for now, so you can weaken the... the wider population. Not just, uh... Not just whoever's fast enough to be in the front. And then eventually we'll swap you back to first. But you know what I think we need? Some random sporadic damage. So let's put down a plane. Just every now and then, burst of damage out of nowhere. Exactly what the plane is used for and exactly what I'm looking for right now. Random bursts of flavor, you know? Just out of nowhere, just, ooh, spice. Ooh. Damn, I could actually go for some spicy nuggets right now. I know they started doing them at McDonald's. Um, but number one, my partner says they're incredibly underwhelming. As in, not all that spicy. Um, and I think my spice tolerance is actually a little bit better than hers these days, so it means it would probably be disappointing for me as well. Um... But yeah, not only that, but I think my mum went to order some the other day. And the people that were working at McDonald's were just like, Oh yeah, we don't do those anymore. Still on the website. Still on the menu. Apparently they just don't do them. Apparently. Um, let's get some Moab damage, I think. Because I think the sniper might need a little bit of help with that. And that's okay. We all need a little bit of help from time to time. Nothing wrong with a little bit of help. Ex 
accepting it or giving it. Always nice to accept help, always nice to receive it, always nice to give it. Unless, of course... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, I think the only time it's not nice to... Or the only time it's annoying to help others is if you know they're going to take advantage of that. Like, for example, people at my work, I do my best, personally, to uh, help people out with their day and how things are going for them. You know, so if, like, if they've got a big bunch of black crates that need to be stacked up on a little dolly and then wheeled over and put onto a pallet, if I can see that the pile is, like, getting to the point where it's super high, like, taller than they are, sort of thing, and I've got nothing to do, I'll just happily go by, take that away from them, and be like, hey, I got this, I'll give you an empty dolly for you to put more ones on if you need it. You know, and that, that helps other people out with the, the end of their day, you know? Takes a job away that they would normally have had to done. Had to do. Sorry. Um, and yeah, I feel like it helps them out a little. Makes me feel good, because it gives me a job if I'm just uh, sort of chilling without one. And then it helps the company out, because we finish a little bit faster. Meaning they don't have to pay us as much. So in theory, I should be telling everybody to piss off and be like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not helping you with anything, because if I do that, then we'll finish sooner and I won't get paid at nearly as much. But at the same time, that sounds like a very fucked up and sad workplace, so I don't want to do that. But I know some people definitely would. <laughs> some people at my workplace would absolutely be like, oh, that's not my job. Uh, in fact, I think someone, someone who used to work for the company that I do, uh, I think it was the first week on the job that I had where I didn't really know what I was doing too much, and I was just going, going to do my thing what I had been taught to do, just packing stuff away and putting stuff back and stacking things up and things like that. And I go to stack up these crates and then I see that someone else is already doing it. And so my mind was like, oh, cool. If they've got this job covered, then maybe I can help other people out with other jobs. So I, I just put my crates next to their crates and then split second response. Didn't even hesitate. That's not my job. I'm not doing that for you. I was like, oh. Okay, goddamn. Alright, fine. No need for the sass, but fair enough. But yeah. Work. Work has certainly been an interesting one for me. But, uh... Yeah, it's good enough, you know, it is good enough. What do I want? Hmm. I'd like something to help me clear up 63. You know what I haven't used to clear up 63 in a while? Good old boomerang. Does Top Path still do well on 63? Don't know why I expected that to drop up here. Uh, let's also do this. I'm expecting this guy to absolutely destroy 63, but it probably won't happen. Luckily we have the sniper and this guy at the back, just in case we'll get that. Uh, to deal with it as well, if things go terribly wrong. Money! Let's have a look, shall we? 
How does 63 go for us? Okay. That goes quite well, actually. Huh. Cool, cool, cool. Doom, doom, doom. And... Here it comes. We're in the end game now. Does 65 even have any Moabs? Surely, right? Maybe one at the end? Hey, there's a few at the end. Okay, cool. Die! Easy! Beautiful. Alright, there we go. That's the first two maps done. Next three maps are gonna be pretty chill for tomorrow. And it's just, it's just, it's just nice. It's just nice. Let's just appreciate this once more. Just breathe it all in. Take it all in. <sighs> anyway, that has been freeway traffic. I didn't even read that. These tracks are quite long and the balloons are tired of waiting to get to the end. There you go. Long maps. Quick balloons. Okay, cool. That is part one of freeway traffic. That's what it was called, right? Freeway traffic? Yeah. Freeway traffic complete. No monkey knowledge. None of that other jazz. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Part two with the rest of the maps will be coming out tomorrow. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your week, everybody.